hello guys welcome to coding simplified and today we'll see a problem in linked list where we need to delete the n nodes after m nodes so it's very basic problem and we just need to delete uh, the n nodes after m nodes so let's say i have the five node so problem may be that delete two nodes after one node right so after one node means like we will traverse till this node and then we will delete two nodes right so the final link list will be 8 pointing to the 28 and 28 right so this will be my final link list so this is our question right so generally it seems that very easy question because what all we need to do first we will traverse and then we will point like suppose if it says delete one element after two element right so after two element means first we will traverse this till this element and then then we will again traverse what is the deleted node so let's say if it says uh, delete one node it means we will traverse till one node so this nine will link to this one if it says delete two nodes it means then this nine will point to this one 28 right so this is all we need right so let's see from the code so what we are saying we are saying that delete one node after two node let's say this is our question right but first we need to see that what all condition we can have right so we need to consider the situations where we can have uh, where we can have the elements uh, which is greater than the number of size so let's say it says that delete five element after traversing three element but after tra after traversing three element we can't delete five element because we don't have right so this is not a valid point this is not a valid condition so this is one thing we need to take care now again it can have like uh, delete zero node after uh, after traversing some m nodes so again we need to consider this situation then it can say uh, like delete m nodes after traversing zero nodes right so we need to take care of all the edge cases of what can appear right so when we write the function delete m node post m n nodes so i am passing this is n node which i want to delete and this is after traversing so delete n node after m node right so i have written this is a conditions these are the condition which i need to take care when list is null when n and m are greater than zero so this is positive case when again m is zero so delete after no traversing right and when n is zero when delete zero element so this is uh, this is again we need to take care and when n is greater than the number of element after traversing m node so which i described you before some time right so this is my function where int is the uh, deleted item which i want to delete and m is the number after traversing right and so at the starting i am telling that if node equals to null then return node because if node is null then uh, the list is null so we'll, we can return null or we have returned null right then i am taking two temporary node temporary one and temporary two right and i have taken also two variables i and j so first i am traversing so because if you want to say like delete n nodes after m nodes it means you will you will traverse the m nodes right you will traverse the m nodes so this is for traversing the m nodes while and this and here we are checking that if m equals to zero right so here we are checking if m equals to zero it means there is no need to traverse the elements because the traversing of nodes is zero then we say that temp2 equals to temp1 if it says like yes there were the element then we store the temp2 equals to temp2 next right because then we will store the elements at the end so that is why we have stored temp2 equal to temp1 dot next right and this is now about the deleting the element because we are check n is the number of element which you want to delete and j is starting from the zero so we are uh, we we are jumping the elements right so we are jumping the element by temp2 equal to temp2 next right and if temp2 equals to null then we can say that not nf element to delete because if n is greater than the uh, list of elements or the elements which we have right as of now so the temp2 will be null 
so in this case we can say not nf element to delete and we can simply return the not right so if m equals to 0 if m equals to 0 then we can return the temp to it means uh, it means there was no need to traverse the element the, the deletion of element started from the starting else we can return temp and dot next right so so this will solve all our uh, problem right so if you see this is deleted mn nodes post m nodes and if you go here so this is our problem so if you see the code so let's say if i debug this point so i have m equals to 2 and n equals to i have 1 right so it means first i will traverse till 2 element so this is i have initialized now it will so it has traversed 2 element now m1 was not 0 so temp2 will be storing 34 right and now because i have already inserted the element so i am not going into this so now i am uh, now i am traversing i am deleting i am deleting the one element it means actually basically i need to check the i need to change the links right so this is changing the links now again it is checking that m equals to not zero so it will go in temp one dot next and it will point to temp two right so this is how and if you print the list so let me show you the console so our earlier list was 12 8 34 13 and 37 and after inserting the elements now it has become 12 8 13 and 37 right so so this is all but let's say again if you if you say some uh, negative check so let's say delete eight elements after traversing two elements which is not valid because we have only five element in the list and after traversing two element we have only three elements so we can't delete eight element right and if you run the program it will give me not nf element to delete but let's say delete uh, four element after two elements so again it is not valid because uh, we are so let's put it as one so delete all the four items after traversing one element it means it will delete all four items only one element will be there right because we have covered the all the cases all the conditions in this program right so if you go through our program this it covers all the conditions right so thanks friends for watching the video and please subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.